Okay, at next meeting, I'm going to personally invite those folks that at least have a representative or consultant of theirs here as well to answer some of these questions. That's great. I got a question for the engineer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in the size of the cabin, how they would send a charge in there and collapse that whole cabin. How big a sinkhole would that be if that everything went out? Oh, no. I, I, I want to be back in Texas when we try that. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan just came on, so I, I'll let him try to answer that question. Dr. Kumar, I think in your original uh, meeting over here, the first meeting before I was involved, put up a maximum extent that the entire cavern were to collapse, and that is on our map that we, we have on the, on the website, and it does not encompass the road, does not encompass the homes. So that circle is up on... It's uh, 1,400 feet. 1,400 foot. Right. So it's, it's there. Once they evacuated any uh, uh, problems or whatever, out of the cavern, can they do that? Can they stop it from just continuing you know, a bit at a time and just finish it off? Or Okay, that's the same home. We know they extended that same home. I think we want to see the seismic activity go to normal when we relieve this pressure off. Okay, we want to see that. And I think we want to get the pressure off the aquifer. There's some things that we just want to see. You know, I, I think the parish has made some decisions based upon they, they need to make sure you're public safety. And they're trying to do that. And that's why they made the decision they had on the evacuation. We're going to try to get the next you know, the people that we can to give them a, a level of comfort to allow you to get back in your home. That's why we're working to do this. Get you back in your home, get you back to normal. <coughs> John and Marty, I've seen so far that the common belief is that the sinkhole is the problem, is, is the cause of all the problems, excuse me, the cavern is the cause of all the problems that we're having. The area that the bubbles are coming from is constantly growing in diameter. So, are officials considering that the sinkhole may be only one of our issues or problems? And due to Mother Nature and time, our grounds uh, shift and move, and we may have some natural gas issues or whatever else, because it seems like the sinkhole is one area, but it, the, the gas and bubble issue keeps expanding. So are they considering that the sinkhole may be only one of our issues? Absolutely. Yeah. We, we have never said that the sinkhole or the cavern, I think they got, the cavern is the sole and only responsible issue here that we were wrong with. We think, and obviously there may be very well other things going on here. Obviously the cavern was never a natural gas storage cavern. So natural gas is either formation gas that's infiltrated the cavern and finding a way up to the surface, or it's processed gas from one of the other industry partners on the dome. We have not taken anything off the table to say that that's not a possibility. So not only is the cavern and the potential sinkhole or the sinkhole that's developed an issue that we're concerned about in the evacuation, but it's also determining the fingerprint of the gas and determining the vent program that can actually get the gas out of the aquifer. So those are the issues that are all working from our perspective. So with that being said, we should all consider that even though they get good data and the reports come back from the cavern, that may not be all the answers. I guess we should try to understand that as, as, as citizens of the community. Just the cavern may not answer all the questions that we have. Absolutely. Ab agreed. Absolutely. And you, and you stated well. You stated well. That's not, and, and you posed the question in the form of a statement, but you stated well. That's correct. Thank you. What are we actually doing now to get rid of the beaches? Let, let me address that. Uh, so we did meet with uh, we meet with Texas Brine every day. They are developing a plan to start the cleanup process again. Uh, we are currently waiting on that site safety plan uh, to be submitted, and the, the unified command will review it before uh, they commit to cleaning it up again. But they are uh, looking to start uh, possibly as early as Monday uh, cleaning up the diesel that's in the same hole, and hopefully that will eliminate that diesel smell. 